Hey guys, hello again everybody and welcome to Churchill Downs where the fields are set for Kentucky Derby and Kentucky Oaks 149. And excellent fields they are. Forte is the Kentucky Derby favorite Saturday. Drew post 15 and a full field of 20. Post 15 is one of the most successful in Derby history, producing six wins and 61 starts. The 10% win rate from there is in fourth place in Derby history. Forte has six wins and seven career starts, has a five race win streak, four of them grade ones and one a grade two. Comes off a win in the Florida Derby when he was fifth at the top of the short stretch, then roared to the win, passing the other four like they were standing still for trainer Todd Pletcher, who has three Kentucky Derby starters. I've always said you can get good trips from bad post positions and bad trips from good post positions. So it's really about the way the race unfolds. But I do think the post position can kind of affect strategies and that'll sometimes affect the outcome. We had drawn the one the last two years and, and I do think it's different with the one with the new starting gate, but still, I felt like it, it, it cost us a position or two last year and, and, and the year before. So I was happy to get out of there and, uh, you know, pretty pleased with all three post positions. And understandably so. The maximum field of 20 from the rail out. The inside five positions include the five. Tap it trice at five to one. The second choice in the morning line also for trainer Todd Pletcher. Posts six through ten include the ten practical move. The Santa Anita Derby winner at ten to one odds. The co fourth choice. Moving outside of the second half of the field. Posts 11 to 15 include the 14 Angel of Empire. The Arkansas Derby winner is the third choice at odds of eight to one. And Forte of course from post 15 the favorite at three to one. And on the far outside, post 16 to 20 include the 17, Dermo Sotogake, odds of 10 to 1, the co-fourth choice. The UAE Derby winners trying to become the first horse from Japan to ever wear roses. Kentucky Oaks 149 Friday has a full field of 14. The 5 to 2 morning line favorite from post 7 is Wet Paint. Wet Paint has won four of six career starts, including the last three straight, the last two, and grade three races for Louisville trainer Brad Cox, who has three Oak starters. It's overrated, bottom line. That's my opinion of it. Um, and people are going to argue with me, but it's overrated. Why do you say that? Uh, it's about getting the trip. I mean, it's important to break well. I'm more interested in how they come out, not where they load from so, okay. or where they break from. So it's all about breaking and getting away good and getting a good position. But, but overall, these horses are doing well. They've got to work out trips. That's going to be up to, up to, up to the jockeys to give them good trips and uh, see what happens. The Oaks field from the rail out, the inside five include the four, South Lawn, uh, morning line odds of eight to one. Comes off a win of the grade two Fairgrounds Oaks. Post six through 10 include the six, Botanical at four to one, the second choice for Brad Cox, and the seven, What Paint the Favorite. Again, both for trainer Brad Cox. Botanical has a four race win streak, all on a synthetic surface. And posts 11 through 14 include the co-fourth choices in the 13 Affirmative Lady and the 14 Pretty Mischievous. Affirmative Lady comes off a win in the Gulfstream Park Oaks. Pretty Mischievous comes off a second in the Fairgrounds Oaks. Post time for the Oaks on Friday is at about 5.51 or so. And post time for Kentucky Derby 149 Saturday is at approximately 6.57 Saturday night. From Churchill Downs, I am Fred Cowgill, WLKY Sports. <laughs>